Energy saving has never been easier. Here with tips on beating the heat while saving at the same time is FPL energy expert Tiffany Spence. Good morning, Tiffany. Good morning. Thank you for having us. We have got a lot of different ideas and tips and tricks here to save money on our energy bill because let's be honest, it's always summer in Southwest Florida and that's a big reason that our energy bills are pretty high. That is correct. It is really hot. We're all running to the AC, the thermostat, trying to get cool, right? Exactly. The AC is one of the bigger drivers it's of It's kind of a battle, I feel like, you know, because if there's different levels of comfort within your family, someone's always going doot doot, then another doot doot, so it's yeah. It's correct. And so with, with that line, the doot doot, here we go. Let's talk about a smart thermostat okay. because that is right on the same line. The smart thermostat allows you to control your AC with a smartphone. You simply download an app and pick up your phone and doot doot, you can change the temperature. So if you're somewhere, you're on the go and you notice on your phone, wait a minute, I left that at 82 because I'm away and that's what FPL recommends. Doot doot, let's bump that, you know, back down. One of my kids came, they put it at 75. Let's go ahead and move <laughs> that to 78 degrees. Right. You do that right on your phone. They'll never know that you did that. Yes, it's right <laughs> on the go. And it's really important because with the AC being the biggest driver in most cases for your bill, it kind of accounts in, in times like this for more than half of the electric bill. And for every degree that you raise the thermostat during this time of year, you're able to save up to 5% of your cooling costs on your bill. So it's really good to be able to take control of your thermostat. What do you recommend that we keep our thermostat at? Good question. FPL recommends for energy savings saving purposes, okay. 78 degrees when you're home, okay. and 82 or higher when you're away. And that's, again, for energy saving purposes. It may not be everyone's comfort level, but it's for energy saving purposes and keeping in mind with that, for that every degree, you can save up to 5% of your cooling costs for your bill. Which is pretty big. Now, another thing I'm looking at here is the filter, and I know that that can be a big thing. You've got to change these out. And boy, when you don't remember to do that, they look pretty nasty. That <laughs> is correct. This is supposed to filter the dust and, you know, hair pollen, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff that goes along with the air into the AC unit. And this this is really important. This is kind of our AC, the way it breathes. And when this gets clogged, our AC is struggling to yeah. breathe and therefore pulling more energy. And using more energy equates to, unfortunately, higher bills. Yeah, opening so up we, your bill. Like, yes, ah! we want to remember to check these monthly. Yes. Uh, maybe when you get your FPL bill, you know, <laughs> remember to check these monthly. <laughs> Some of them, like this one, need to be replaced. But there are others that you can simply wash, put right back in the unit, and you're ready to go. Oh, that's actually really great. <laughs> now, light bulbs. I mean, there are so many different choices now, and that is a big energy saver, too. That is correct. There are so many different choices. Uh, nowadays more we're leaning towards LED you mm -hmm. get a much brighter wattage um, bright bright light really bright and for a lot lower wattage and LEDs come in the beginning the LEDs you were like oh we can't dim them we can't it's not for this lamp it's not for that lamp LEDs now are available in all kinds of bright light uh, you want to look for lumens also that's very important okay. when you're shopping for LEDs but they emit a lot less heat than your typical incandescent light. So that's what helps. And then this here will not register that heat from your incandescent bulb, and so it's helpful. Okay, and so we're talking about this little this little machine right here. Yes, the thermostat will register heat from anywhere, including incandescent light bulbs. So if you're transitioning to LED, which are a lot cooler, then your AC thermostat will not register so much heat in the home and therefore Doot, doot, we're <laughs> yeah, that's right. So uh, again, important thing to do that though is the new app, which is a great way to control that. Now, where can we go online and get more info, Tiffany? Well, we can go to www.fpl.com forward slash easy to save and get these tips and many more. Perhaps take the free online home energy survey to tailor your savings, which could be up to $300. Which is big. Uh, thank you so much, Tiffany, for letting us know all of these great tips on how to save money with all of our energy that we're wasting at home. <laughs> yes, we want to empower you guys to become energy experts like myself. Take control of your bill. That's I the love key it. message. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tiffany. Thank you for having me. To find more information about this segment, log on to our website, fox4morningblend.com.